Jelena i Brin žive u Dubaju, a kontaktirali su nas putem Facebooka. Jelena je Banja Lučanka i svog supruga Brina dovela je da upozna njen rodni grad. Spojila ih je ljubav prema fitnessu i zdravom životu, a pored toga što rade kao fitness treneri, zajedno učestvuju i na fitness takmičenjima. So, Brin and Jelena, you are a couple yeah. and you like to train. That's right. <laughs> Love to train. That's what like all the time, but usually most of the time. So Brian, tell me something something about you. Okay, so I have a full-time job. Mm -hmm. Actually, I work um, as a cabin crew. Mm -hmm. In my spare time, I'm personal trainer. I do online coaching. And how is it going? People are uh, interested? Most of my clients are in America. Mm -hmm. I have quite a few clients in America. My goal is to train as many people as possible. Uh, so far, I've transformed, I would say, about 30 to 40. Uh, females and males. Wow. Including my wife. Wow. I saw Yay. the pictures yeah. before and now and you, you did a great job. But, but she also did a great job, right? Well, my online coaching... <laughs> An amazing job. <laughs> yeah. The online coaching, basically, it's up to you mm -hmm. to follow it. I give you the information, I give you the diet, I give you the training. But if you don't follow it, obviously it's uh, it's useless. Uh, for Yelena, obviously I've given her the information. I've also been there to help her, but she's done it herself. And you you also do the the shows together, yeah? Everything started just like to spend some time together because he was training all the time, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna join the gym. And uh, and you met up... him in the gym. Yeah, that's right. So girls find boys in gyms. <laughs> Forget about bars. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yes, when um, when I spent so much time and dedication and hard work, I thought I could compete as well because after all, only yourself is on your way to your um, goal and to, to, to your dreams. Yeah. You can do anything you want. So, yeah. Well, yeah, because I, I actually... Um... Especially if you marry a personal trainer, <laughs> it's, it's handy. And then when I met Yelena, I was still exercising lightly in the gym. Mm -hmm. My whole mindset changed. And getting back into the full-time training, getting back into the right diet, really helped me focus mentally. Mm -hmm. And it changed, obviously, my physical appearance. Love is the main motivator, I think. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> if you find the right person mm -hmm. in your life, and if you support each other, no matter what you do, it doesn't have to be gym, doesn't have to be competition, whatever, it's, mm -hmm. it's much easier. So, yeah, I found my soulmate. How do you train, prepare yourself for competitions? How does it look like? We have some videos so we can show people. Uh, but Lots tell me something <laughs> behind the scene. How well, does it look like behind the scene? I won't lie and say it was easy. Mm -hmm. it, it's competition training is very tough. You have to want to do that. You know, you can't just some random person say, oh, I'm going to do a competition. You have to really be focused. Mm -hmm. All your attention has to be on that competition. But when you say, what, what exactly did we do? Every morning we wake up, pretty much every morning is cardio. Mm -hmm. Finish cardio, we eat our breakfast. It's like a routine every day. And then again, back to the gym, weight training. Mm -hmm. For me, I then go probably to my job and work 12 hours, finish my job and go back to the gym again before wow. I go to bed. For Yelena, obviously, um, I got her to quit her job. I told her focus on training, prove to the world that my diet, my training, can get you results. And, so she uh, did it. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't trained people for competition before. I've just trained like lifestyle, you know, mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle, lose weight, gain muscle, but not for competition. So Yelena is my first person to place, and my only client for a competition prep. So we can do everything, just if we if we want to. Yeah, anything exactly. you want. If you want it badly enough, you can do it. You can do yeah. it. There are no obstacles that would stop you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. That that's what I prove to myself and to anybody. I want to hear more about your story, and then afterwards I will ask Bren maybe to share some tips, maybe yeah. for people at home. But uh, first, Jelena. So you are from Banja Luka. I will talk in English because of the brand. Uh, but what's your story? How did you uh, go? What are you doing in Dubai? Uh, did fitness and brain change your life? Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, I was typical Banja Luka girl. <laughs> Just my life was about going out, meeting friends, you know how it is mm -hmm. here. And um, I moved from Banja Luka because I, I used to work for British forces. 
and um, I ended up in Dubai working for one uh, American company as a HR manager and um, then I met Bryn and um, I was still at, at that period I was just going out having fun having fun yeah. it was beach bars drinks cigarettes which I mean I don't regret I had fun but mm -hmm. <laughs> Then um, I, I was overweight as well, and uh, everything started with the, like, oh, let's lose a couple of kilos. Then it became passion, and I've seen results mm -hmm. very fast, and I was happy about that with Prince training and uh, diet, and we enjoyed doing that together. Then um, because he done competitions, and uh, uh, he was always telling me what kind of thrill. He felt what kind of excitement. I, I thought maybe I could do it, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, right now, I'm um, I work as a PT in Dubai, personal trainer. Mm -hmm. I got my uh, qualifications, mm -hmm. and uh, wow. all what I do is pretty much training. And Enjoy working with the people, yes. seeing results. And it's not just the training. I do have my clients for whom I'm also like a friend. They talk mm -hmm. about their issues personal life issues you have it's to like, feel their energies and yeah if you, you want to you can't take a people like just subject you are training with mm -hmm. it's not just about their body it's about i think everything their soul and exactly. mind also well, people so have some, to some trainers in in our gym their whole hour session is just them um, complaining about their husband or their wife <laughs> and you you're not just training them to give them a better body you're also helping them mentally I don't know sometimes I feel like a counselor sometimes yeah. <laughs> are there any tips like now for people at home who are maybe uh, trying to motivate themselves to go to, to start uh, training to uh, change their life their diet do you do you have some like uh, um, tips? Well, look you have you have to always have goals mm -hmm. in life no matter what you do the, the best tip I can give to anyone is to, to set goals you know, maybe your goal is to, to set up a party for your friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. If you don't do anything about it, if you don't arrange the balloons, arrange a cake, arrange the presents, there's going to be no party. Of course. Always you have to set goals. Also important, what we talk about uh, during the drinking coffee, uh, what you said that uh, people should uh, have more meals. It's uh, it's a stereotypical thinking that you you only have like one meal or yeah. you're not eating at all. This is not good way you know, to lose weight. The, the the best thing to start off with is three meals. Mm -hmm. You can't just jump from one meal to six meals. Yeah, it's a shock it's, for a, exactly. Yeah. Start off just eat breakfast when you wake up. Mm -hmm. Have your lunch. Have your dinner. Just have those three basic meals. If you can stuff, say two to three thousand calories in one meal, which majority of people can't unless you're eating McDonald's or Burger King which is not healthy you know you you could probably still lose the weight with that one meal but who can eat two to three thousand calories in one sitting not feel bloated mm -hmm. not feel lethargic it's better to spread it out over the day eat smaller portions smaller portions yeah every time you eat your actually your body temperature raises you're burning a few extra calories mm -hmm. you're keeping your metabolism going yeah. That one meal a day, your metabolism is just going to say, oh, I'm not getting food in for another 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's going to slow down. It's going to go into starvation mode. And it's just going to store that food. So I wish you all the best. Oh, thank you. Uh, and I, um, I'm waiting for you again to come in Banja Luka because you will, you will be here maybe for a couple of months and people can contact you and maybe work with you. I'm yeah. really excited about that. But now let me see maybe what you what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Exercises that anybody could do. You don't need a gym for that. You mm -hmm. can do it at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, let's try. Let's try.